Spain is reeling from one of the worst natural disasters in recent memory, as a powerful DNA storm system, or Depression Aislada en Niveles Altos e, has unleashed torrential rain and flooding across Valencia and parts of southeastern Spain. The storm has led to at least 95 confirmed deaths, with the death toll rising throughout the day as emergency teams continue to recover bodies and account for missing persons. This catastrophic weather event has been especially devastating in the Valencia region, prompting Spain's government to declare three days of national mourning in remembrance of the lives lost. The intense flooding, triggered by heavy rainfall over the past few days, has overwhelmed rivers and drainage systems, turning streets into torrents and engulfing homes, cars, and buildings. In some areas, more than 300 liters of rain per square meter fell in just a few hours, a volume the infrastructure in these regions simply couldn't handle. Images from the hardest-hit areas, like Sedevi and Piporta, show vehicles piled on top of one another and buildings submerged, leaving entire communities in shock and mourning. Authorities have faced criticism for their response to the disaster. The Spanish Meteorological Agency, that is, AMET, had issued warnings and raised the alert to red days before the peak of the storm. But many feel that the response from local officials in Valencia and surrounding areas was delayed. Critics argue that swifter action could have minimized the tragedy. The Spanish government is now calling for an investigation into the management of this emergency, to determine whether any missteps in the initial response might have contributed to the high death toll. In addition to the tragic loss of life, the material damage is substantial. Over 70 major roads remain closed due to flooding, landslides, and debris, with the Directorate General for Traffic, that is DGT, advising people to avoid travel through affected areas. The situation has been particularly hazardous on highways, such as the A3 and A7, which are primary routes in and out of the region. The extensive road closures have isolated several communities and hindered emergency response efforts, complicating the recovery process. Neighboring Catalonia has also been hit hard by the DANA, especially in southern Tarragona, where a level orange alert remains in effect for heavy rain and potential flash floods. The Catalonian authorities are taking further precautions, including sending emergency alerts to residents' mobile phones to keep them informed of any critical developments. Weather experts are warning that while the worst of the rainfall is beginning to subside, the risk of further floods remains in some areas, and residents are urged to remain vigilant. The severe flooding in Valencia and neighboring regions has also caught international attention. The Central American Parliament has expressed solidarity with Spain, extending condolences to the families affected and to those who have lost loved ones. As local authorities and international support groups coordinate relief efforts, officials stress the importance of preparing for future weather events like this which are becoming more frequent and severe in Spain due to climate change. The tragic outcome of this cold drop phenomenon is a grim reminder of nature's power and the need for robust emergency preparedness. Stay subscribed for more videos.